This is one of the ancient, one of the oldest temples here in Bagan. It was actually constructed by a king, I think, in the 12th uh, AD, not the 12th century, 12 AD, 12 years after the death of Christ. We've arrived at the next temple. This is Tilo Minlo. Very interesting name. This is the temple that you definitely want to go to. This is the Star of Bagan. This is the one that everybody talks about. This is Ananda Temple. Good morning guys, hope you're having a great day. It is Ping here. In case you can't tell, it is an early morning here in Bagan. I'm wearing a sweater because the temperature is only 17 degrees here in Bagan. But we're gonna go try and catch the sunset. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. It's really dark, but we've managed to come to the temple for sunrise, climbed up, a lot of people are here. I think many people know about this place already. back at the hotel. Let's go quickly grab something to eat before we go on temple exploring more today. Breakfast was delicious. Now we're gonna go to our first temple for the day. This right here is Thakyapon Temple. This is one of the ancient, one of the oldest temples here in Bagan. It was actually constructed by a king, I think in the 12th uh, AD, not the 12th century, 12 AD, 12 years after the death of Christ. That's how old this temple is, but it's been rebuilt so many times after earthquakes, after disasters. But this place is just one of the oldest. You can really tell the stones are just so old, but it's quite well preserved. Let me show you what this temple is all about. Now, if you're wondering why Buddha has his four fingers put on the ground everywhere you go in Bagan, the reason is because it's used to symbolize the fact that even though he's achieved enlightenment, he's still grounded to reality, which is really interesting to see how those four fingers represent 
being attached to the ground. But this temple is just amazing. It's old, but we gotta move on. We've arrived at the next temple. This is Tilo Minlo. Very interesting name, but let's go check it out. So this place, Ti Lo Min Lo, probably one of the biggest temples here in Bagan. But there's just these huge Buddhas on each of the cardinal directions and inside the paintings. I think you've probably seen it for yourself, but the paintings are insane. I mean, just imagine 800 years ago what these paintings must have looked like. The murals here are just impressive. probably tell I'm actually on top of a stupa right now. Uh, this is actually the stupa right across Wu Yingyi Temple. There's no name for it. I just saw it. I just saw there were stairs so I thought you know what maybe we can climb up and indeed we can climb up. Although the view isn't exceptional here it's not like the greatest place to come for a sunset or a sunrise but I did see a temple over there that I think I think that you can go in. So I think we're gonna go check that out and see if we can actually go inside. Oh, right, this is another hidden secret I've just found. On Google Maps, it's labeled as Dadito's Sunrise Temple. But you can just see all of Bagan from this place. Oh, this is incredible. I'm not going to talk much about it. I'm not going to vlog much about it. But if you want to see what this temple is like, Tune in next week for the next vlog because I'm going to be showing you what sunrise is like at this temple. Oh, this is impressive. I am blown away. The view here is probably one of the best sunrise views you will ever find anywhere. <laughs> oh, I'm just so lucky today. <laughs> We have a leading tower of Bagan here. It's not really leading that much, but I guess it counts, sort of. We made it over to the cluster of temples, but they're all stupas. They're not really temples, so there's no stairs to climb, and therefore I don't think this is a really good place to climb in. Even then, the view isn't really great either. Um, so we're gonna head on to the next temple of the day. Let's go. It's like a 10 minute walk away from our previous temple is this other temple whose name I'm not even going to try and pronounce because it's way too hard. But they have stairs but it's locked as usual, no surprise here in Bagan. But this temple is really really nice, it's like an octagonal sort of shape. It reminds me a lot of the Jefferson Memorial in DC, just a lot older. Uh, but they have Buddhas everywhere, the place is really nice. Let me just give you guys a look. Maybe this temple isn't the largest temple, it's also probably not the fanciest temple or the most accessible temple because the stairs haven't closed, but I have to say, this temple is the most breezy 
temple there is. I mean, the wind just blows in on all of the directions, all the faces of the temple. It's just such a cool place to be. And really refreshing if you, you know, are on the road and you want to take a break, this is a place to come. It's actually right next to the road. So super, super great place to just hang out and rest for a little bit. Let's go to the next stop. I just realized as I was leaving this, but another similarity between this temple and the Jefferson Memorial is that they both have like a dome shape on it. And then, you know, the sides are the same. This is the Bagan equivalent of the Jefferson Memorial. We are now at our next temple for the day. But first, a couple things. If you haven't noticed, I have some cream on my face. This is called Thanaka. It is a very traditional Burmese sort of skin care cream that also functions as a sunscreen that a lot of people use here. The temples here that we're about to visit are all white, which is really surprising because the ones that you've seen are all red, brick colored. This one is a white temple, which brings us to this current temple called Thak Bing Yu or something like that. Don't trust me on the pronunciation. This is a massive temple. I mean, you can just walk around for hours and you can just get lost. But there's, well, once again, those four big Buddhas in the four cardinal directions. And there's just so few people here. And it's such a big complex. I have the entire place to myself. But this is just an awesome place. Let me show you why these white temples, this big white temple is one that you have to visit here in Bagan. There's only one temple that's Hindu, and that's the one we're in right now, Nat Lang Hyong. I'm not very sure what the pronunciation is like, but I'll show it up on the screen. This is the only Hindu temple, and you can see all the gods aren't Buddha, but rather they're showing Vishnu and all the other gods in Hinduism. But there's just these little windows on the top of the temple that are allowing light in, and the view from each of these windows is exceptional and you can see the tallest pagoda in all of Bagan, which is what we just went to. Uh, you can see it from the door frame here, which is exceptional. But this temple, the only Hindu temple in Bagan. Godapalin Pagoda, which is one of the largest pagodas, one of the tallest pagodas, is in that new style, that white outer appearance and those golden spires. Once again, same thing, the four Buddhas and the four cardinal directions. But this place is once again massive. I'm finding a lot of these white ones are just so much bigger than the red ones, and they're also in a much better state uh, in terms of. Uh, how you can walk in, how the ceilings and all that, they're still stable. You, can, you don't see the bricks all exposed. So I think the plaster, the concrete is still there. But this is one of the bigger temples. This is on the western side of Bagan already. snack bowl is so small compared to him. Wonder why this Buddha doesn't get any snacks. I guess no one likes this one. Now this is the temple that you definitely want to go to. This is the star of Bagan. This is the one that everybody talks about. This is Ananda Temple.
there's this Buddha behind me that's so interesting because when you're close to it, it actually has a very sad, angry face. But when you're far away, the Buddha is smiling. So maybe Buddha has uh, bipolar disorder? And what's unique about this one is that on all the walls, you have these like little holes where they have Buddhas inside. So you can see all these mini Buddhas in this whole entire temple. This is the king of temples here in Bagan. This is the one that everybody talks about. Probably by far the busiest temple I've seen in all of Bagan. There's so many people here. It is absolutely insane. But it's for a good reason. The temple itself is quite impressive and uh, the architecture as you can see is one of the biggest ones here in Bagan. Definitely worth a visit here. We have come to the next temple of the day. This is Sulamani temple. You can see it from so far away. It's one of the biggest temples here in Bagan. This is Sulamani Temple, one of the biggest temples here in Bagan, one of the oldest as well. And the reason it's called Sulamani is because according to legend, the king of Bagan found a ruby here and decided to build this temple here in the 1100s. That's how old this temple is. But once again, just really big brick uh, pagoda temple here in Bagan. And the artwork here, you can see all the paintings of the, the Buddha and all of them. The paintings are just phenomenal and they're so well kept compared to the other temples here in Bagan. guys I owe you guys the biggest update so after uh, those temples we just went around Bagan just explored a little bit more just saw a couple more temples none that I thought were really vlog worthy now we have come back to Sule Gong group if you watched yesterday's uh, vlog you'll see that we already came here before but I've heard the sunset is really nice here so we're back here again we're gonna enjoy the sunset and I hope it's gonna be a good one beautiful way to end the day here in Bagan. That's gonna be all for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more food and travel videos. I hope this video helped you if you're planning on visiting Bagan, on which temples to visit. And all the temples that are open, I will link down below so that if you are going to Bagan, you can also go to these places and explore some of the beautiful temples that Bagan has to offer. But anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys on the next food and travel video. Bye guys.